Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. Today is the start of our new season. And of course, we're facing a couple challenges. The first challenge is the weather. Last week was really nice out. It was about 80 degrees all week. Last night, we had a cold front come through, and now it is cold. It has been snowing on and off. It is going to continue snowing on and off all day long today. It's going to be really windy. It's not going to be nice, but that we can deal with. The second thing is that Tino called in last night, so we have our first call-in of the season on the very first day. He said his car broke down or whatever. Um, it's it's a little disappointing because if you're determined to be somewhere nowadays, you can be there. There's other options to get places. But anyways, that's just you know the beginning. Uh, we're going to face challenges all season. So right now, I am debating whether or not to hire another concrete finisher right now it's just myself and eric tino bugs and the new guy my son is going to be working for us this season but he is taking a couple classes during summer and he's not going to be available till about june 7th which is quite a ways away and then francisco injured himself at his winter job he tore his quadricep and that's a slow healing injury, so he's going to be at least another month. So my predicament is I really don't want to struggle for that long shorthanded. I kind of want to just hire another guy right now. Uh, but then when my son and Francisco come back, I'm worried about having too many guys. But I thought about it this morning, and I think I'm going to hire another concrete finisher just to get us over the hump. I'm pretty sure we're going to be busy all season. Right now we're booked past the 4th of July, part of August is already booked. So we're looking good. So I think I'm gonna to try to find another concrete finisher. So I guess it's time to take the garbage out for the first time of the season. And, on, and then after that, I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. It is snowing just a little bit. It's cold, windy, that's the radar right now. I know up in Minnesota, they had several inches of snow. Uh, as you can see, upper Wisconsin up here, they're getting hammered with snow. We're in a little bit of a lull right now. We're just getting really light snow, but we'll see what the day brings. Not this again. I thought we were done with this. When it was 80 degrees last week, I had the air conditioner on, sweating. Now we're froze out again. Thirty degrees right now. Last week it was so nice out. It was in the 60s at night, upper 70s, 80 degrees during the day. Yep, we were in t-shirts, sweating, but not today. <laughs> wow. Up to an inch of snow near the lake, three inches the further west you go. Well, a lot more than that. The further, further west you go, 38's the high here in Milwaukee today. So, welcome back to winter. Yes, really. <laughs> that one's empty. Dark roast this morning. I might need the extra caffeine. All right. Hi, Mizzy. Thank you. I am just pulling into the yard. It is a couple minutes after six. Nobody's gonna be here yet. I'm a little bit early, but it feels good to be pulling into the yard knowing we're gonna get something done today. So the job today is a new construction driveway. It's, it's good size, it's pretty big. And the plan is for this week to set that up today, pour tomorrow. Then we got rain the next three days. So I'd like to set up another driveway and then we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I don't know. I'm really, really hoping that next week gonna bring a nice 
long stretch of, of beautiful weather again. Eric's here. So I'm having the guys park on the street this year and walk in. We just don't have enough room anymore in here. Morning, Eric. Yeah, but it warms you up a little bit. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Man, this weather is crazy. I know. Last week we were out here 80. sweating. Yeah. Oh, I'm so hot. It's like a hot summer day. <laughs> I know. I was like, Lou, it's dope. I know. Yesterday morning it wasn't too bad. And then by the time I got out of church, I was like, whoa, what happened? <laughs> yeah, got pretty close. I know. I talked to Francisco. He said probably a month. A month. A month? Yeah, so I was thinking about it this morning and because my son can't come in until June, I think I'm gonna try to find another finisher right now just to get us over the the spring hump, you know what I mean? I gotta find somebody good, man. Oh, and then Tino last night, he texted me. Yeah, you already know what I'm gonna say, right? What? <laughs> He's not coming today. Oh. <laughs> Mike's here. <laughs> he's just pulling in to say you guys working yeah good luck i'll have a good season bye <laughs> <laughs> how's it going hey, morning. You guys? cold oh thank you thank you yeah. oh this oh. is this is for you <laughs> this is for you <laughs> I just wanted to thank you for the experience you gave me last year. So yeah, no problem, man. Oh, enjoy the season. <laughs> yeah, thanks. What are you working on today? I got a couple estimates to do, and then uh, just get some paperwork and send my taxes in. So. Oh, just chilling. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> With the weather, you can't yeah, do nothing. Yeah, yeah. Last, last yeah. week was good. I can't not work today. Tomorrow is the only day they're not predicting rain. Yeah. I have to get something poured, man. Yeah. I have to. I'm glad we got everything ready so we don't have to do a bunch of stuff this morning. Oh. I can't eat that, Eric. Oh. Boggs is here. Boggs, you can just take your truck today because we really don't need that truck today. We're just setting up. Hi, Jade. Hey, Jade. I'm gonna start up the Mac. Yeah. I'm gonna get this thing warmed up. Mike with us again? Mike? No. Not at all? No. No, he's gonna be busy. What's he doing? Well, he's doing all he's his own. Busy. Well, whatever he can find. Got work? Got work? Oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, you're gonna have to get some blankets or something for this truck to lay down for the dog. I got something. What do you mean? I mean, when you have a dog in there regularly. Sure. I'll throw something on the seat. Yeah. We gotta make scabs because we gotta scab all these together because it's a long, curvy driveway. I prefer to cut up some of the stuff that's already short. You know what I mean? Trying to scuff them. <laughs> yeah, I got, they're gonna get stuffed. It's an easy job. They're all easy, man. Yeah, wow. yeah, that's true. Yeah, they no, it really is. It's yeah, we got somebody. It's just the driveway. Oh, there you go. That gang box locked? Huh? Is that gang box locked? No. You just have to slide that thing over. Is it stuck? Morning. Where's your coat, man? It's cold. Yeah, I was, gonna, I was thinking about bringing it. I was like, should I? Yeah, you should have. Yeah, I should have. Yeah. That's my boots. Yeah, we usually keep the boots in there. Sounds good. Yeah. You drink cold coffee? Just follow me because it's a new subdivision. It's not even on the maps. We're just going to go out Silver Spring to Pilgrim. And then we're going to go north on Pilgrim. So in here is the registration and there's a couple pens 
and the fuel card's in there too. You don't have a pin yet, but you will eventually. So if you ever get pulled over, your registration's right there. Sounds good. But try not to get pulled over. Yeah. Like if they come behind you, just try to lose them. Yeah. <laughs> That's the registration, fuel card, and a couple pens in that clear thing. So always leave that in there. The job's only 10 minutes from here, pretty close. I know Ray's going to be a little nervous and a little slow driving at first, but that's just part of the deal. Yeah, Ray's gonna be lagging. He'll get used to it though. Just pulling up to the job, 650 right now. Should be an easy job. Easy to set up anyway. All right, this is a job. It's a pretty good sized driveway, a new construction. Pretty easy. We're gonna scab two by fours together, set this whole side. Same thing with this side. This might get a little bit too curvy here. We might have to change to our plastic forms. We're gonna try to get in and out of here today. I'm gonna bring the skid loader up here, get this dug down up in front of the garage. Out here looks pretty good. This really shouldn't take a super long time today. Yep, that's it. New construction, very easy, which I'm glad for because we're a little short-handed and it's really not very pleasant out here. So come back here, I'll start showing you how to remove the bobcat, that kind of stuff. These things be really careful with. Don't put your thumb like this. Don't hold it like this when you undo it. You familiar with these? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah so keep your hands underneath because it pops. And if it's really tight, it'll pop really hard. It would break a finger for sure. The saws in there? Yeah. Brand new? The saws in there, the impacts in there, brand new. But no Maybe it. No oh, <laughs> I know where they are. At the shop, getting charged. Yeah, I put them all in a right. charger. Getting charged. Oh. I put them all in a charger in a shed. Yeah. Well, we're going to need it. Because we gotta, we got to screw the forms together. <laughs> Here's the keys. It's this one and this one. What is it? This one and this one. They're inside on the charger. The big charger that's mounted on the wall. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Just grab those. They should all be fresh. Ray, I'm gonna have you get some gravel right away. Okay. Feel good a load of gravel. I'm gonna disconnect this trailer. We're gonna need a bunch of gravel. This side should be ready for forms. Eric should be back in a second. Forgot the cordless batteries, so we'll scab these together in a few minutes when he gets here. But I'll run, I want to run a string line because it looks to me like there's a depression here and we're going to need a bunch of gravel in here. 
because the approach here they need a quarter inch per foot from the culvert to the road which brings it up pretty high uh, it's kind of hard to tell right now i'll set some pins and see what it says what took so long did you go to the bathroom no. are you sure yeah <clears throat> i was going really fast just a... <laughs> First pin of the year. We're pretty much ready to start setting this side. Scale all those together. Hey, Tito just texted me right now at 7.30. He said, sorry boss, I didn't get a ride today. I'll be there tomorrow. It's 7.30. <laughs> I kind of already knew he wasn't coming. I couldn't sleep, dude. I couldn't. I was up at three o'clock, man. My cat puked all over my phone, and I grabbed it. Oh! It was in the dark. <laughs> oh! You trying to help? Here. Okay, get down. Here. Did she ever get mad at anybody? Like really mad? Never. Never? No. She don't bark at people? No. no. She's just a sweetheart. That's going to have to be the height right there. No, it's not bad. It's all right. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, muddy and wet. The soul started to rot off already. <laughs> First day. Oh, man. <laughs> Like this and then we'll turn it out and then we'll turn it around back that way just got to get that right there and then we can pretty much set the forms it's a pretty good job for the first job of the year it's already gravel because it's new construction everything else right now that I would have tried would have been a disaster with the mud if I would have tried to do a removal today the, the weather is miserable, but honestly, it feels really good just to be out here moving. Push it to that pin where the string is being held. Push that right to the pin. Okay, hold it. This has got to go in a little bit. You can put a pin in that one. Let's look at that. Man, that looks, that looks pretty nice. That's what the builder wanted. He didn't want nothing straight. He wanted a curve in and then out. Yeah, we're gonna run with that. I like it. Talk so much? Yeah, you call me. It's all going down. How long you fit it yet? Don't follow my line exactly, obviously. Oh. Make it look nice through here. So just scab another one on and maybe one and a half. Yeah. And then finish it out. Make it look good. I'm gonna get some heights across here. Run this string down for elevation. They'll scab these together and finish this radius out. And then it's pretty much time for grading. Try to get this done as quick as possible and get out of this lousy weather. Jade is just chilling in the mud and the snow. She's still happy. She's just happy to be at work again. Hey, did you call? I'm going down right now to get the, uh, you said three quarters TV, right? Yeah. Yep, I'm going down right now. I just had to go in the office and do some things for them. Uh, they're, uh, I'm pretty strict here. Strict? Yeah, they're strict. Yeah, so I'm going down right now to get that TV. I'm on Lisbon. All right. I'm bringing suspects, right? Yep. Okay, yep. All right, thanks. Yes, sir. Sure. Yep. Okay. okay. String is all set to height. It's a little high right here. I got to take this down right here. 
just about a half an inch. I'm going to use these 2x4s for spacers. The driveway is 16 foot wide, so that'll make it easy. What time you think it is? What time you think it is, Bugs? What time does it feel like to you? Eight forty-two. <laughs> <laughs> We're already tired. That's why. Oh my God. And it's only eight forty-two. Yeah. <laughs> We're almost done. We We're have... already ready for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> you just finished three sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> By eight thirty, Eric. I know, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to take one load of gravel. We'll compact and get out of here. And then we'll go to lunch. <laughs> Big Ray just texted me, he said he'll be back in 10 minutes, which is going to be good timing. We're pretty much ready to start grading. Eric's just finishing up that last form. Bugs is finishing up the heights. We do have to saw cut the road though. That's the only thing. The inspector, can you please stop Jay? No. 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 It's impossible to work around Jade. Oh, and she eats string lines too. Forgot about that. No. All right, I'm gonna start pushing the gravel around a little bit. I need the exercise. I was just moving it. <laughs> Ooh, that's really deep right here. That's like six and a half. Six and a half. Oh, I have to. <laughs> There's a metro right, right there. there. Okay. I hope he's not just like you and Francisco. I got a pool. All the time. All right. Hey, when you get old, you're going to make the perfect Santa. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is called grading. So what we're doing is we're getting the gravel four and a half inches lower than the string line because we want the concrete to be five inches thick the string line represents the top of the concrete so we're grading he's compacting i'm gonna grab actually see i just have this thing where i just want to do it quick myself but i really shouldn't do that ray take the dump truck and park it right here
We're going to tilt it up, but we're not going to unlatch the tailgate. I'll show you how we do that. <laughs> yeah, right. You got to get your second win. Now you're not going to unlatch the tailgate. Just start picking the box up. I'll tell you when to stop picking it up. Go ahead. Your heart? Your heart's raising? I gotta call Menominee Falls real quick. Just finish this up right here. We gotta saw this road. So it's like two inches back, just so we get a flush edge. So every municipality that you do work in, they're always gonna have a spec sheet like this. It's gonna tell you how thick they want the concrete, how thick of a base they want. It's gonna give you the elevations, and then it's gonna give you the flares, what size flares that they want. Like this one, for instance, it's three foot. And this one shows an angular flare. I happen to know that in this neighborhood, he's gonna allow the radius flare. And then they want a, a joint three foot back from the culver pipe, uh, because technically that's the city's. So if they ever had to replace the approach, it's three foot back from the culver pipe. And they would take that out if they ever, you know, years from now have to do work. So they were, they're calling for six inches of concrete, four inches of gravel, three foot flares, and then recommended slope is a quarter inch per foot towards the road, obviously. So I'm just gonna call now and uh, hopefully you can get over here tomorrow morning. Okay, that makes me a little bit nervous. The inspector does not work on Mondays apparently, so I was unable to talk to him. I left a message, I told him I, I was hoping to pour this tomorrow. And we'll see what happens. He's pretty strict, so you definitely don't want to pour without him showing up first because he's the type of guy, you know, that could potentially say, I'm not saying he would, but he could ask you to take it back out. What are you looking for, Eric? What are you talking about? Ring. The ring's already on the blade, brother. Are you okay? 
No, I'm not. That? Yes, sir. I love That's all I want to cut right now. Okay, because we'll, it, I yeah. I'm going to tear it out, then it'll put a dip in the old Yeah, tree. when the concrete trucks are done, yep. then we'll pull it out. All but right. if the inspector shows up first, I want him to see that we are cutting it, because right. he told me to cut it. Okay. Oh, the inspector did? Yes, he said he wants a fresh cut. Very nice. Hey, hey. You hook this up. Yeah. I'll watch it. Why sure in the do boat right. is the driver is always on the right side? Why do they do that? In a boat? Yeah. You know, cars oh. are on the left, but boats are on the right. Why? I don't it? know. Maybe they were made in Europe first. I always wondered that. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. We are done. Ray seems to be enjoying himself. So that's good. He's got a lot to learn, but at least he's enthusiastic. And that's really important. Hey, make sure you ask Fred how he burnt his brand new work pants. He's got a hole. <laughs> He's on fire, man. Really? He's on fire. <laughs> he looks awesome. Oh, man. I guess that's one way to learn. I didn't know you're supposed to spread your legs. I'm over here like this. Here's <laughs> <laughs> just the flames. Aaron's fault. I forgot to tell him I got no, to No, I get. think he did that on purpose. No, no, no. <laughs> Usually pants don't start on fire that yeah, easily, yeah, though. Quick. I didn't get burned. No. I had oh, just smell it. What is that? He <laughs> <laughs> started screaming. I'm like, what's going no! on? No! <laughs> it is windy, man. I don't want to admit this, but my hands are kind of cold. I'm not kidding. They are. They're cold. Look at that. If that caution tip stays, I'll be surprised. How much are we pouring in the morning? Like 20 hours. Something like that. Tina will be here. Hopefully. 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 I think we still got it. We'll still get it, dude. I think you, me, and, and Bugs and the Slab, we'll get it. Oh, we got it. I'm not worried about it. Even if it sets up too fast, I can always just broom it and saw cut it. Yeah. Because this is a builder driveway. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to. Let's be real. Is it the but same? But if I know? had to, is it the same? Guy same builder, that? yeah. Bobby Grubb said, "Uh, you're a cool dude." Who's that? Bobby Grubb. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's still, he's still in uh, my live, and I shot him out. Yeah, that's what he said. Right, Shout up. out to Bobby Grubb, Grubb Mud Concrete. Grub Master of the YouTube Shorts, 43 million views. I know, that's crazy, dude. That is crazy. He had to hit something. Yep. What's that for? Shut off. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's it's not the edge of it's not the edge of the earth, man. Remember when Al fell in that hole? I do. Yeah. The first two, I was thinking like. <laughs> and then the third one got me. Hey, at least your beard didn't flame up. No, oh, yeah. it'd be a hey, it'd be a four alarm fire. Hey, hey, he was running and his beard split in half. And I <laughs> yeah, his beard. from the wind. Yeah, <laughs> it's like the Red Sea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how many beard jokes we're gonna tell this year? A I, lot, I told, a lot, a lot. I told straight up, I'm jealous because I can't even grow beard. Yo, I, I know. So I, I can't make fun of you. That's I don't have a beard. that's the main reason he's wearing. That's it, huh? That's it. Man, I have that's a, the main I reason. Have, yeah, he's only got six hairs. No, you could probably have, lend him some. <laughs> you know, hey. Long day again, Eric. It's already 11. Hey, this is, oh my God. We're gonna, <laughs> hey, and that's nothing. When we get in the prime game, we'll be done easy, right? We'll be done at like. Oh, when we're primed, yeah. yeah we, you got we, the hang of it already with this? If we would have had a full crew and we were in shape, we would have been done an hour ago. Yeah. yeah. An hour I ago. Believe it. Yeah. That was easy. Yeah. <laughs> you left. I mean, we could, that, right? we could yeah. easily pour this in one day. 
but not today. <laughs> That's it. It's only 11.15. Hey, we're going to go to the winter shop and I want to take that salter off. All right, so should I start going to the shop or something? Yeah, yeah, head to the yard. Take. How do you get in? I mean, how, how do you want me to just pull in this way, back up all the way? Yep. How do you guys do it? Yep, we got to put it back just the way you found it right. this morning. All right. All right. And don't make it crooked. No? No. No. <laughs> I got it. All right. Well, we'll be there in a minute anyway. You'll probably, we'll probably beat you back to the yard. Because you'll still be searching for third gear right down this street. <laughs> he'll get it. He'll get it. <laughs> he was, <laughs> Ray was asking me how he should park. And I said, dude, you don't have to worry about it. We're going to beat you back to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We're ready? I'm ready to go do that. Yeah, we'll get lunch, and then we'll go get the salter off that other truck. Got to get something else yeah. done today. It's only 11 o'clock, dude. Okay, driveway's all set up. It's ready to go. We're going to pour probably to about here, I would say, in the morning. Right around here. And then that'll be the afternoon pour, well, 12.30 pour. So it shouldn't be too bad. You just got to get used to it again. Kind of got to get back in the groove of things. The only tricky thing for me in the spring, the first pour, is it's, it's always kind of a guessing game how much chloride to put because you're just not familiar with the concrete yet this year. I think tomorrow I'm going to take it easy and just do like half percent, I would say on the first pour just to be safe it's going to be cool out again but i don't want to go too crazy and then we're struggling because that can't happen oh he ran right <laughs> ray, <laughs> ray ran right over both of the wheel chocks i hope he didn't crush them because once, once you flatten them <laughs> once you flatten them they're no good <laughs> Uh, this one got cracked, but it's still good. This one's fine. He's got a good attitude, and that's what matters most. Oh, yeah. Once you learn. Yeah, you guys it was good. easy for him grading, and that's why he wasn't getting tired, because he really wasn't moving anything. <laughs> he had his come along like like this. So, <laughs> so it was just... Yeah, when the come along was skipping off the top, it wasn't actually, it wasn't grabbing the gravel. I know. That's why he was like, what's so hard about this? Did you feel like a bump when he took off? Yeah, that was, that was the, that was the. <laughs> He got the hang of the clutch now. The clutch is sticky on the Mac. It's, it kind of sticks and then it pops up. But once you get the hang of it, it's fine. Okay, me and Eric are gonna take the flatbed, head to lunch first and then we'll go to the winter shop. We gotta get the bobcat off again. Yeah, yeah I need it for a second. You know how to do it? I'll show you. How do you guys do this one? <laughs> well, you gotta open it first. You don't start it with it closed. Right. Oh, yeah, you start right. it with right. it open. That makes sense. And then you get it like, not real tight, because you gotta be able to latch it. Right. Like that, huh? Yeah, but that's not really tight enough. And then you use the big breaker bar, yep. okay. which is in the tongue. Just like that. Ah, uh, that's it for now. You can go. That's it. <laughs> It's only 
in the first day. Yeah. I'm gonna save these clips and replay them when he's <laughs> when it's nine and he's dead. Yeah, it gets cold. Hey, give me water. <laughs> I need water. Yeah, yeah bugs but his bugs is hot today. When he's when he's wringing the sweat out of his beard. Yeah. It's yeah. Gonna, it's, yeah. Man. it's only the first day. Yeah. All right, I'll Thank see. You. Yep. Yeah. See you in the morning. 6 30. it's supposed to rain wednesday thursday oh. friday so we'll see what happens man if we can get this driveway poured tomorrow and get that driveway done this week i'll be happy working around this weather <laughs> the driveway is that porous concrete we're taking out i'm really looking forward to taking it out and see what it's like breaking up you ever see porous concrete no Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, it was on the, my yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah. Straight there, and then, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I can't wait to always... break it up. I want to see what it's like. Like if it breaks up in pieces, like concrete, or if it just shatters into gravel, or what? I, I think gravel. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Yeah. We're gonna grab some lunch real quick. <laughs> Your boots were brand new this morning, and now look. I gotta go buy another pair. Just to wear them just to Do you like them? Are they comfortable? Oh, so they are? Oh, yeah. They're like tennis shoes. I'm going to get some new boots soon. Oh, I have the two chicken, three chicken breasts and the broccoli. Chicken and broccoli every day, every single day. Same thing. I'm going to get sick of it soon. I know that. Can you put that in there? Patrick? Where did he put the extensions now? Oh. There they are. They're right there. Oh, yeah. Sure. So we're going to put them in by hand and then try to put the forks in and see if that works better. I don't know if that's going to work either because I have a feeling that it's just going to start sliding them in more. I don't know. We'll try it. We got to try something else. Last time it just didn't work good. It took too long. That's as far as you can go. What? You made it so uneven. It's through. Let's clear out some of that. We'll put that other one right here. are really bent. Yeah, I can't use these forks. Oh, that is frustrating. Yeah, I know. Well... his forks are yep he's got some right here Got 
some super heavy duty forks and they won't even go into the extensions. Look at the size of the gap between the attachment plate of the skid loader and the bottom tab of the forks. I mean, there is a good three quarters of an inch there and that's why they're falling off. No good. No good. What am I gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? Break them? No, you already know what I'm gonna do. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta fix it, Eric. How do we do that? Well, I just need to find some steel. Something like this. That's thick. Yep. This will. Yeah, this will hold it. So what I'll do is I'll uh, cut this and weld it on. I just gotta cut one more. Hi guys, my name is Eric. Uh, well, you all know me. Uh, our first day setting up was worked great. How am I just, I'm gonna bend down like that. Like that, like with your legs like well, that. you can. Yeah. No steel toes will give you blisters, man. Oh yeah. That's why I don't wear steel toes. You gotta find a solution, maybe we steel toe the whole boot. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so your foot can't bend at all. <laughs> I don't think that would be a good solution, Eric. <laughs> Just a start going to be like, get out of here, kid. Yeah. <laughs> temporary. It's fixed. Yeah, it's temporary. It's fine for shop forks. You're an excellent cameraman, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> excellent. Breathing really hard. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing right into the microphone. Yeah. All right, forks are fixed. We'll see what happens now. I should have closed the gap most of the way. It's not gonna be perfect, but. I know it's still got a gap, but it should be way, way, oh yeah, way better. There's not much of a gap at all now. They're not gonna come off. Look at the tarp. It's no way. it's ripped. No right there. way. It's ripped. Send the back. Send the back. You want to know why? Why? I'll show you. Because they got sharp edges right here under the plastic. That's why. It's very disappointing. Okay, well, I'm glad that worked out. We just need to need to do a little fixing first. Now we need to put the tailgate on and that tailgate is really heavy. Okay, we'll pop this tailgate on and call it good. You ready? Okay, go. Ready? Go yep. ratchet, yeah. 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 
You gotta jump up in there, grab them shovels and all that stuff out of there. I'm gonna put this truck inside. Get it out of the weather. All right, man, I'll see you in the morning. All right, see you, right. Hopefully you're ready for concrete. Oh, yeah. Okay, first day's over. I'm going to grab my afternoon coffee right now. Obviously, we didn't get too much done as far as work is concerned, but honestly, I'm happy just to get that driveway set up. In this kind of weather, uh, I'm happy to get anything done. So tomorrow's our first pour. We'll pour that driveway in two pours, and hopefully Tino will be there. So, we'll see what happens. It's always interesting. I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios.